Hey everyone, I'm Waga Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, Waga stands for when you get old. All right, I'm super excited because today's video is a collab with my twin, Heather. If you don't know who Heather is, uh, she goes by Crazy Beautiful MUA. If you love makeup, which I assume you do since you're here watching this video, you would love her and her channel. All right, we have decided that we're gonna put together a spring look. Now, to you, a spring look may be different than what I think a spring look is, which is totally fine. To me, spring are kind of pastel shades and extra glowy skin. That's how I'm interpreting a spring look. Now, for me, I enjoy a dewy, glowy look year round uh, because I have mature skin and dry skin, and frankly, I just think dewy, glowy, just, I don't know. I like how it makes my skin look more youthful and glowy. So I'm gonna start off today's look with this product here from Pixi. This is the Plus Rose Radiance Perfector. It comes in a squeezy tube and it's just a glowy primer. It's quite runny. It gives a beautiful glow. It has a subtle pink hue, which after you apply your foundation, you don't really see the pinkness, but it does give a really, really nice glow. I'm just gonna use a brush and get that smeared all over my face. And then to keep on par with the glowy look, I'm going to use a foundation that recently came into my life as an add-on and not in my box. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Um, but I still am happy that it's in my life. And that product is from Charlotte Tilbury. This here is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have it in the shade Too Neutral. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes in a squeezy tube that has a pump. And let me tell you, I love this type of packaging. It is super Lazy Girl approved. Perfect if you're using a brush or, let's face it, if you're using a sponge, you could also just squirt it on your face, but because it's a little more runny, I think a brush is a better applicator, but use whatever you prefer. Typically, the more runny a uh, foundation is, the porousness of a sponge is just gonna soak it up more. You wanna use a damp sponge if the foundation, or even primer for that matter, is rather thick. Um, and then if it's runnier, using a brush, to help get it all over your face. Now this looks a little too dark when it comes out of the um, packaging, but once it's blended in, it's perfectly fine. I question them calling it a neutral shade because it is a tad on the yellowy orange side, but not so much where I can't wear it. All right, this is how that product's looking. All right, next I'm gonna be going in with something I love using. I've been using this every day for the past month. I did a review on it and I think I was using it, I don't say incorrectly, but my expectations were higher than how it's meant to work. And that is this product here from Catrice, the Under Eye Brightener. Um, because it kind of covers, I assumed it was gonna function like as a concealer as well. No, this just will help with color correcting. So if you use it on its own, it helps a little bit, but it doesn't give you the full coverage of a concealer. But I like applying it right after applying my um, under eye moisturizer. And then I just come in and tap a little on. And then I go in with my newfound favorite concealer. And just everything is super moisturizing and just really helps with this situation. I'm not sure the order of these videos, but I'm fairly certain a review of this product is already up on my channel. If so, I will link it above. This is my new favorite concealer. It's from Winky Lux and it's called Peeper Perfect. You need the tiniest amount. This here, by the way, is a sample I got from Ipsy for $3.50. It's 3 ml. I have already picked up the full size. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a tiny little dot. There is the amount, which is probably more than I should have uh, squeezed out, but you know, squeezy tubes are hard to control the exact amount. 
but watch how this works. So I'm not going to need a sponge. I'm not going to need a brush. I'm going to apply it as if it were an under eye serum or cream. I'm just going to get it under my eye and just kind of rub it in with my finger. That is it. That's all you need to do. For me at least, and I have dry mature skin, it doesn't cake up. It doesn't crease. It doesn't emphasize my fine lines. It just looks dewy, glowy, and really moisturizes under there, and it hides my darkness. So to me, that is a win. I take whatever excess, and I got a little extra, and just tap it over my nose where I have a little redness, and just spread it out. And then after I've done that, with what's even remaining, is I will tap a little on top of my lids because I have discoloration. I don't want too much because it will kind of crease up a little on my lids, but that's it. That is the concealer I've been using and applying lately. It does what it needs to do and is moisturizing. So for me, that's a huge win. For contour bronzer, I am almost done with this product. So I'm going to use it today, even though you've seen it a million times, just so it can end up in my March empties. This here is from NYX and it's the Wonder Stick um, I forget what shade. It's like fair. It's the lightest shade. Um, by the way, I never use the other end, which is a highlighter. I just go for the gorgeous contour shade, which for me is perfect. It's Lazy Girl approved. I just draw it on my cheek and it has a nice non-orangey kind of neutral shade, but it's not gray. So it looks like a complete contour. For me, it's what I call a contour bronzer combination. And I have found that a dry sponge works the best. I just press, tap, and get it all mixed in here. And it is perfect for when I'm in a rush in the mornings because I don't need to dampen a sponge. I just draw it on and then look, within 30 seconds, my cheeks are done. All right, for my blush, I thought it would be fun to go through my collection and see what speaks to me. Typically, I reach for a single blush product, but then I noticed my stack of face palettes and thought, you know, it's time I give those products some love. I went with this face palette here from Lunar Beauty, and this is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. First of all, to me, the packaging is very, very spring. You have some pale purples, some pinks. I don't know. It's giving a spring vibe. And then the shades themselves to me are like screaming spring. Some very soft, subtle pinks and just gorgeousness. I'm going to go in with this lightest shade of pink. And then if it's not quite enough, we have five other shades to dive into. To me, again, very subtle, more uh, pastel colors are the vibe of spring, Easter, and dying Easter eggs, and I don't know. Pastel, to me, is spring. Okay. On camera, you're probably not going to see much because in real life, it's very soft, very subtle. So, I'm going to go in to a darker shade, this shade here, and let's add it on top and see what we can do. Now that first shade I would love, it's a good everyday run into the grocery store, you work in an office and you don't need to go, you know, super glam or super ham. Um, but for this video, let's get a little more impact on the cheeks. Okay, that is beautiful as well and I think is picking up more on camera. All right, let's move on to the eye look. So, once I found that uh, blush palette, I thought, you know what? Lunar Beauty also makes a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. Plus, this um, packaging is screaming spring to me. Beautiful cherry blossoms and this lovely peachy shade which is my inspiration for the eye look. Because to me, a spring eye look would, of course, include pinks, 
but coming out of the month of February where I did several uh, Valentine's Day eye looks and other looks using pinks, I thought, let's give the beautiful pinks a rest and let's go in for possibly some maybe sherbet orange peachy shades or, you know, knowing me, a little bit of pink, but this is what this palette looks like. It has some beautiful neutrals with some nice kind of more what I'm going to call peachy shades. There's a little pink, which knowing me, I'll probably use as well. But this palette is gorgeous. I'm going to go into this lightest shade here called Bare and just get that all over my lids, mainly to set down the uh, concealer and just use it as an overall base. I haven't put an eye primer on because your girl here is lazy and didn't want this video to be 18 hours long. But oftentimes you don't really need one, particularly if you're gonna be doing a softer, more neutral look uh, where a, an eyeshadow primer comes in handy. If you want a bold look and want the colors to remain, you know, as they look in, in the palette, definitely go in with an eye primer. But right, using that same brush, I'm going to go into this peachy kind of orange shade. My lights are really bright, so that's not quite what it looks like in real life, but it is just the shade I am wanting. All right, I'm gonna just grab it, put it in the crease, and drag it a little more on the outer edge, and then what remains kind of in, and then we will find a deeper shade to darken up the outer corner. Let me know what shades do you think represent spring? Um, honestly, I could go with pink. <laughs> pink in February, pink in March, pink in April. I love a nice neutral with a pink look. But considering I don't like orange bronzers or other things because, hello, I have orangey hair, I find that orange eyeshadow or peachy kind of shades look better on me than I would have thought. Who knew? All right, now I'm gonna go into this medium kind of orangey shade and get that to deepen up the outer area of my eye and drag some under my eye. So I'm just gonna tap and swirl, tap and swirl. You get it. If you're watching me, I'm pretty certain you already know how to apply eyeshadow. If you need tips, uh, my gal pal, Heather, she is really good at explaining how to do stuff. She's an actual MUA, whereas I am just a makeup enthusiast. But let me tell you, from where I started four years ago till now, my eye looks, even if you think they look horrible, look a thousand times better than they used to when I would apply makeup. So there is some truth to practice makes perfect. Not that I'm perfect, but just the more you do something, you are bound to get better at it. All right, that is beautiful. I am going to pinch this brush and whatever remains, I'm just gonna get it on the lower outer portion of my lash line. All right, now choices. So many beautiful shimmer shades. Which one do I want to use? I feel like I need to do a couple swatches. I'm drawn to that shade, but the one next to it, okay, it's a little more golden. And then we have a super light shade. Ooh, that's a little too white. I think by first instinct, I like that shade, which is called Sam. All right, let's go in first with the finger and see what that does. Oh, that is gorgeous. If you like a subtle shimmer, a non-glittery, at least I don't think, like, there's not gonna be any fallout on my cheeks type of a glitter. It's kind of like a topper shade. If you're looking for opaqueness, not so much, but this is what I love. Just a subtle, subtle shimmer. That is gorgeous. This extra kind of white shade, since it's already on my finger, hopefully I don't regret it. I'm just gonna put a little on my brow bone. Okay, yes. And then grab a brush and get that blended out because that's a little harsh, but 
Nothing blending can't fix. Before I move on to highlighter, let me dive into this slightly darker orangey shade and just get a little extra deepness on the outer corner, just a little hair right there. I'm just going to tap it, do a little swirl, because I like to have just a little, I don't know, extra darkening on the outer edge. I think it just adds a little something. Do the same on this side and then I'll take whatever's remaining and drag a little bit on the edge here. Just a little bit. Okay, I think that extra darkness just added a wee bit of definition in the eyes. All right, for highlighter, I thought it'd be fun to pull out this guy here from Rare Beauty. This is the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. Uh, this is a beautiful highlighter. If you like a shade that's kind of subtly pink, you will love this. This is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. Let me do a swatch. It's like a beautiful champagne, nice uh, highlighter shade with the ever so slight pink undertones, which if you are fair like I am, looks spectacular. I'm just gonna tap a little high parts of my cheeks. And do you see that beautiful subtle glow? Like it doesn't emphasize texture. It's just chef's kiss. It also makes for a beautiful inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take a really tiny pencil brush and just dab a little right there. And then whatever's remaining, I'm just going to slightly drag it right here. So there's a little consistency there. All right, for eyeliner, nothing spectacular, <laughs> different or special. This here is just a black gel eyeliner from Tarte. This is easy on the eyes. If you've been following me, you've seen me use this many, many, many times. I'm trying to hit empty on it, frankly. So we're just gonna use it today. And my eye look looks crazy until I finish up with eyeliner and touching up my mascara. All right, I just apply that on my top waterline only and we go like this and hope that it doesn't sink on down to the lower half. For liquid liner, I'm gonna be using the Feline Flick from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, where did I get this? Oh, I think in a Charlotte Tilbury mystery box. This is really nice, especially if you are, you know, beginner or applying uh, liquid liner scares you. It has a really long um, felt tip and it's so easy just to like lay it down and just drag it. It's, I don't want to call it like beginner proof, but hey, I'm not a pro and I never have a problem applying it. All right, I'm going to pop off camera, recurl my eyelashes, touch up my mascara, and then we'll come back and do the lip look. All right, I am back finished touching up my eyelashes and now let's move on to lip products. I'm going to be using a lip product that I've never used before because I literally just picked it up off of Amazon. There was only one beauty product in my Amazon haul so I figured you know nobody wants to watch a rando um, haul video with one product. This here is from Revlon. It's the Super Lustrous Lipstick and I have it in the shade make it pink. Um, it's very, very, very pink. So hopefully the sticker is, isn't quite, you know, the actual shade. Um, it does come with a sticker considering it's from Amazon. That's a good thing because that way, you know, nobody has tampered with it. All right, please be yes. Okay. A lot of you are going to be going, what? Do you live in Miami in the early 80s? I think a part of my soul does. Oh no, it's slightly darker on a swatch than in the tube. It was like $5.34. So I can make a lip product work as long as it's not too dark uh, by just piling on a bunch of other stuff. So let's give it a try. Okay. Considering it's a matte lipstick, 
it's gliding on my lips. Doesn't feel dry yet. Um, I think the shade of pink isn't quite jiving with the shade of peachy orange, which, duh, I should have known that in advance. But I thought things through and <laughs> figured that might be the case. So on the lines of using products from Lunar Beauty, I have this uh, lip gloss, which is in the shade Starlight. And I figured, let's see how it does on top of this. If not, I have plenty of kind of golden, orangey, shimmery lip glosses that I can throw on top of this. That is such a good lip gloss. I own a couple of these and I just haven't reached for them in a while. And I don't know why, because it smells good, it feels good, looks good. Um, the subtle pink still isn't driving so much with the eye look. Still, like, I think it looks gorgeous just with today's look. So let me grab something that's a little more orange just to tie things together. What do we have here? All right. Ooh, something from Wet n Wild that's looking kind of bronzy orange. This is the Mega Slicks Lip Gloss. And if this can't help, I don't know what will. There we go. That has a little more orange to it. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let me zoom on in. And then in editing, I will be like aghast at something I didn't notice while filming. And let's take a look at how we did on creating a spring look. All right, now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on today's look, on spring looks in general, on my obsession with really light <laughs> lip products? What can I tell you? I just feel comfortable and think they look better on me than deeper shades. But I know everyone has their own opinion. All right, I want to thank you, Heather, so much for always wanting to do collabs with me. I want to thank each and every one of you who's made it this far into the video. If so, leave, a, I don't know, a bunny, an egg, anything kind of spring related emoji. And that way I know those who really do support me by watching an entire video. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to go give some love to Heather's channel. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button because it really does help with my channel to grow. All right. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.